Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Uh, I got a request recently to make a football, so I played around with it last night, and uh, here's my attempt at a football. You'll see I'll start off um, making the patterns, then we're going to do some joints, and then it repeats itself. So I will fast forward through that part, making sure you get the gist of it, and then we'll look at the finished product. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to start with a sketch on the top plane. Well, it doesn't really matter what plane you select. Uh, we're going to create a polygon. So I'm going to make a, doesn't matter if it's circumscribed or inscribed. I'll make two of them. So a six sided one and then another one a five-sided one so we'll just tab push five now i want to dimension them i'm just gonna put some horizontal constraints on them add them equal and then dimension this one and it'll adjust the other one okay that's i don't want them on top of each other like that I'll just move this one over, finish sketch. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to extrude them. I'm just going to make them one millimeter thick, just so that they've got a surface. We could use a surface modeling, but uh, I, I wanted to do it like this. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a component from these. So we'll go into bodies, right click on it, and say create components from bodies. That'll change it to a component, and we'll do the same for the other one. Now, what we're going to do is use a joint. So I want a motion joint, so, or else it's not going to work. So the way we do it is we add joints between the edges, motion joints, and then as you add more pieces, the joints will force it to curve around. So I'm going to select the first side. It's the center of this, the five-sided one and the six-sided one and we can see there they have that rigid joint. If you wanted to see it uh, in motion, you can animate it. So you right click on there, where is anim animate joint? And you can actually see the range of motion it has. So I'm happy that it's on the correct parts. Now you right click and move copy. <coughs> We're gonna copy these components so select the component and before you move you select create copy we're gonna then just drag this and you can see we've got a copy there okay now we're going to continue with our joint assembly so make sure it's on revolute it should stay there but i'll just check anyway and we make sure we're selecting the right edge so it's this top edge not that bottom one select that and we've got six of these going around the little one or the five-sided one and when I join this to this it should put it up and you can see now it's taking on the curved shape um, then we'll have another one of these around there uh, so I'll just repeat this step one more time so you can see and then we'll fast forward so we select the component create copy and we move it. So you could create a bunch of copies. Um, I tried that last night. And the problem is they are all facing various orientations and when you come to doing your joints, it doesn't always get, get what you're trying to do and it might flip a piece around or something. So just like that. I'm going to fast forward through this next bit um, and then when we get to the end we'll have a look at what we've done.
Okay, so there we've got our soccer ball shape, sort of. Um, I want to do a few changes to this. What I'm going to do is construct an offset plane from one of these. It should put it on all of them. Um, it's got 15 millimeters. And then I'm going to create a sketch on that plane. This is just to give it a bit of a rounded shape. I'll put it center there, finish sketch, and then I should, let's see if this works, should be able to loft from that surface to that point, and it'll affect all of them. So we can change this to point tangent, get a bit of a rounded one. You can change these to adjust the, adjust how you see it and then we'll do the same with um, with the other shape so we'll select the other face we have 15 millimeters and create a sketch point finish sketch We'll do another loft between that point and that point, and then we'll just get this point tangent. Obviously, it's not a perfect soccer ball, but it's it's not too bad. And we want to add an appearance to it, so we we want black and white, I guess. So something black put it over the body, and then it should. There we go. It's selected all the all the components because it's just a it's a copy. So let's see if we can get this over that. I wonder should it be the other way around? Yeah, let's try that. Let's do these. Do the six sided ones white and the five sided ones black. That looks better. So there we have it, we've got our football. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more content. Till next time, bye.